This is a technique from Kenjutsu Tori Take, and what we are going to see here is the first thing. We start in Shiko, and then we stand up to a Tachi position. So let's analyze each fragment of this small sequence to understand the strategy of this Kenjutsu technique. We both start from Shiko, and what he is going to do in this case is a very fast cut, actually two movements in one timing, call it Tsukiru Koteiri, because he's coming to cut my forearm. So what he's going to do is take away the sword and step forward, cutting the target. So in this case, I'll try to avoid the impact, to avoid my blade coming inside. So I'm going to bring my sword down while he tries to impact. And when he cuts, I have time to get away from the center line and protect myself with my sword. So I have my upper part vulnerable, that's true, if he would try to do a tsuki, for example, but I have conditions on this posture to defend myself. But now my intention is to attack him, so to do that I need to take away his sword and make his more vulnerable, because I'm going to reduce the safe lie that he has, just like a circle, where we have the, the sword and the hara, is a half distance of this circle. So by bringing my thorax forward and lying myself, I'm going to slide the blade through his hamon and do a circular movement, but a very violent one, to take his balance away and bring his sword down. So at the same time, I'm, I'm pressing my blade against his, and I'm controlling the sword at the same time that I have the whole frontal area vulnerable. Now comes the second part of the technique where I stand up, but before that we need to analyze that we are in a really risky mind, because if I take away my sword, you can see that he can easily achieve my leg. So that's why I have to be careful with my standing up movement. To do that I'm going to triangle the technique. So I have the strength of his hara pointing forward against me. That's why I'm coming to a diagonal position. At the same time, I'm be careful with my leg positions, my legs set to avoid that risky moment where I start taking away my sword. And then I allow him again to move his. We have a stand up cut in sote. It's a sote technique because my hand will be here supporting the mune to help the cut. So while I align myself and I put my whole weight over my right leg that is forward, then from shiko I'm already in a standing up position and I start diagonal in a hazushimigi movement where my left leg, that not to lose the balance, I need to move at the same time. So by doing the, the first part, I need to coordinate now with my cut part. So with the sword, while I align myself forward, my hand starts coming to the mune before I take out the sword from, from his blade, allowing him to move and catch my leg at the middle time. And then I adjust both legs to diagonal position, avoiding him to cut me, the same time that my blade is already on his neck. And this is the final target of the Tori Take sequence.